Can people see that? Hello. Yes, yes, we can. We can. Okay. I put a, I put a, a uh, I can't see you anymore, so I'm not sure why, but uh, I'll just go on a bit. I put a link into the chat because um, I'm running this off my computer. So um, if, if it, there may be lag or, or whatever, but um, if you can't see it, maybe you can run it off, off, the, uh, off the link. So um, yeah, so let's start. So as I say, um, I'm, I'm, thank you for that introduction. I'm Stephen England from the Art of Sustainability. We, uh, we are, uh, the Art of Sustainability is a, as a collaborative social enterprise um, working in the field of uh, sustainability. Um, and uh, I won't go into mo too much fact, you can go to the website and get more detail about that if you want. Um, so yeah, so essentially we're working within the framework of sustainability. Um, and uh, the, the areas we work in are around systems and behavioral change. And my particular area is concerned with behavioral change. Um, as said before, you know, it's not going to be the system that changes things, it's going to be the people that changes things, and that's going to require us to uh, think and act differently. I'm based in Wales, um, and in 2015, the Welsh Government uh, passed uh, legislation making sustainability the central organising principle of government, and that works its way throughout the whole of, of the education system, right, right, right down to the education system. So at the side of the uh, of the uh, SDGs, those are the, the, the little um, icons, you can see that Wales has uh, goals as well, which uh, basically uh, connect interconnect with um, with the SD with the uh, with the SDGs with the uh, international goals. So there's the Welsh goals and the international goals, and the and the legislation is called. Um, well-being future generations um, and so this question of well-being is uh, is the deliverable of sustainability in Wales um, now it, the, the conversation around well-being tends to be dominated by the um, by the uh, the question of health that tends to be what dominates the question of what well-being is and SDG3 um, uh, concerns with uh, health and well-being but I, I think um, where, where, where there's a deeper, profounder question at work, um, um, and if 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 we are um, trying to make uh, being well, then we need to go deeper than just health. Um, health is important, of course it is, but it's it's when we're um, it's very often when our health is 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 in some kind of jeopardy, we suddenly become aware of this amazing thing that's going on around us, and 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 it becomes so precious. Our time. Our, um, our experience becomes precious, but most of the time it's kind of just head, hidden behind um, things to do and stresses and problems and worries and concerns and deadlines and, and all kinds of things. So we need a way of, of getting at being and, and, um, and that means we've got to find a way of, of putting all these uh, challenges and concerns and worries and um, all the things we deal with uh, to one side. So the research that I've been working on is uh, in the wellness of being is, is based around phenomenological and um, arts-based research um, in terms of how can we do that? How can we get at being um, and, and, um, and, check it and, and check in on that and, and, and move into that deep, profounder space um, that I, I think um, well, a lot of people are asking themselves, you know, we have, a, we, we have more material wealth and more um, a time a life expectancy than ever before, but still this question persists. So there must be something that we're asking ourselves, which we're not getting in, in, in mainstream um, education. Um, so how do we do that? Well, we can use uh, me methodologies, techniques within meditation and mindfulness to kind of do that. And, uh, and we use six within the, within the uh, wellness of being. Uh, permissioning, just giving yourself permission to meditate uh, for many people can be a challenge. Um, they've got lots to do and fi taking five minutes out of your life just to, med to meditate can be difficult. Concentrating, our concentration span is, uh, is, span is reducing um, ever, ever more. Um, so that's becoming more difficult. Returning, returning to our meditation, returning to our concentration, returning to the breath, if that's your point of concentration. Um, that's going to take time building up the experience, building up the knowledge. Um, that requires patience. It requires gentleness with yourself. 
Um, some days will be better than others. Enjoying, if you don't enjoy your meditation, you're not likely to return to it. Um, so um, that's important. But also within that is the idea of um, the quality of your experience. The, how, if we're talking about being, we're talking about experience, we're talking about the quality of experience, you know, we're not talking about a quantitative change. We're talking about a qualitative change. And those challenge questions within within uh, within the whole um, well-being movement about how do you measure that? How do you measure well-being? How do we know? How do we baseline that? And how do we know um, we're delivering on well-being? And finally, there's uh, letting go, just letting go of what we think meditation is, or letting go of what we um, any agendas we may uh, take into meditation, and just dealing with whatever is. Um, and this is um and it, and we don't just live in our heads we uh we belong to a web of of interconnectedness and interdependency um and here in the, the temperate zone of, of of the planet we experience the seasons so um this is uh, something we do in nature we do outside we connect with the natural world we use these um activities in terms of being connected to to nature um and and being part of the seasons as the sun journeys through the seasons but there's a there's a there's also an educational aspect of this which is important in terms of the way that we engage with the, with sustainability or education for sustainability and global citizenship or ESDGC which is like the, the academic speak for sustainability we tend to engage with the challenges of sustainability as problems which tend to um, take us into our amygdala and release lots of cortisol um, and um, and and this results in trauma and one of the things um, you, we, we, when we're engaging in the challenges of sustainability is we're, we're entering into trauma, um, things like climate change and poverty and, and um, a lot of the challenges that sustainability is dealing with are asking us to engage with trauma. So we need to have a way of engaging with these challenges, uh, do the work, but maintain our own well-being. Um, and to do that, we can use the, these techniques, these meditation techniques, mindfulness techniques, to move from the amygdala into the hippocampus and that, rely, that allows for uh, creative thinking, uh, systems thinking, free thinking, um, future thinking. And it allows us to engage with these questions as potential uh, rather than problems. And that opens up a, a different answer, gives you a different response and releases good chemistry like dopamine. And so what we have is a, a, as a sort of a blending of, of um, pedagogy, therapy, and uh, biophilia in terms of getting at well-being um, and using um, and, and bringing well-being uh, to ourselves and, and to the natural world. Um, so there's a tremendous amount there um, and um, a lot of um, a lot of um, brain power used up. Um, so what we're going to do is rather than uh, talk about it, I just think um, I just invite you to experience it uh, rather than. Uh, uh, go on. So maybe we can just do a, a short uh, meditation, just like a one minute at the end of this. We're watching the river passing us by. Um, this is the River Y. It's my local river. It's literally just down the road from me. Um, I use film and video. Um, if people can't enter into natural spaces, um, I use film and video and multimedia as a way of bringing those spaces into uh, and into. Um, into this space, um, the online space. So maybe um, working on developing on for that lovely work we did at the beginning, maybe we can just return to that space of stillness and calm. Maybe we can just return to the breath. Just take a moment. Stay with the breath.
Thank you.